tell us something that's like um, the type bit, like the letter, and how would you how would you come to a conclusion about which is the best or which is not the best? That's a very, I mean, part of it, I suppose, is, is, is the production sort of a period, is there a particular period for okay. this production? And, and it helps them to know that, you know, a little bit about the history of typography. You know, this kind of thing here, this typeface here is called Helvetica, and it's called Helvetica because it was designed by a Swiss designer. Um, Haas, H-A-A-S is his name. So, so you know that this is 1960s, 50s, 60s in particular, these what they call sans serif, the, the kind of straight, clean design uh, designs would have appeared. Um, you would have got a bit of it in the 1930s, 20s even, with the Bauhaus movement. So you, that's, that's kind of um, partly Art Deco influence, but also very much early 20th century. So that's why Katie Roach is like that. It's, it's, it's uh, evoking a period. Um, and there's a whole set of things. I mean, there it is on the, the visual and stone, a bit like that. Um, that's probably, I'm just looking at it, that was hand-drawn anyway, that lettering. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. So, so some of these would have been done with letter set. Um, if you can't find the particular typeface you're looking for, then you're probably going to have to draw it. But uh, it's a lot easier to draw and type, type on a computer anyway than it would have been by hand. I mean, you can do, you, you know, you don't worry about making mistakes.